And today, we're at another craft time with TK. Yay! <laughs> How are you today? I am so excited to bring you this video today because, again, I am a huge fan of uh, summer, but I'm also a fan of autumn and fall. So this kind of series that we're doing uh, with Craft Time with TK is a lot of autumn idea craft time. And as you maybe remember, last time we did some really fun autumn trees. Remember, we used our hands and we traced around our hands with red paper, construction paper, yellow construction paper. It was a really good time and it was so exciting to make these trees. Today, we are going to make the Hollywood, Hollywood horror monsters. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to make Frankenstein, we're going to make uh, Dracula, uh, we're going to make Mummy, <laughs> and a jack-o'-lantern. So, do you want to join me and make these amazing, amazing, fun, and exciting Halloween horror monsters? Yes? Okay. Let's go! Hey, kiddos. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. We have our scissors, nice. We have a black marker, very important. We have tissue paper, yes, very nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> we have a lot of construction paper, a lot, but here are the main colors we're gonna need. Brown, green, Orange, black, red, and white. You're also going to need four toilet paper rolls. One, two, three, and four. Yay! <laughs> Some glue, very important. Uh, some fake arts and craft eyes. <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's start off with a nice clean surface. Okay, make sure you have a nice clean surface. And number one, here we go. Let's use one toilet paper roll. We're gonna start off with one toilet paper roll. We have here one set of our fake arts and craft eyes, our scissors, our black marker, hmm. ah, our green paper, oh, okay, I see, <laughs> our green paper, I think with our green paper, we're going to start off with Frankenstein, huh, and our black paper, very important. Okay, so what I did here was I cut just a straight line in the construction paper, just like this, okay? And I got a straight line like this. Now, I cut little triangle shapes, just like this. And then I kind of like pulled off the triangle shape So here I am cutting triangle shapes along the paper we just cut. Okay. This is this is just how I got that effect. Just triangle, 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 triangle. Okay. So what this is going to do, this is going to be the hair on Frankenstein. See, 
I'm pulling them off very slowly because I don't want to rip the paper too much. Just like this. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! So we take our green paper, our toilet paper roll, and everything we just cut out, our fake arts and craft eyes, and we set the toilet paper roll onto the green paper. Just like you see here, we take some glue, a nice small line of glue, and then we roll it very carefully. We roll, 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 roll. And I'm just gonna take another line of glue, just like this, and seal the end. And I, I wait for about five seconds, four, three, two, one, zero. Hey! And there we go. Now, here, the, it was just too much construction paper. So what I did was I went and cut to even out everything, just like this. You can go ahead and cut too, if you want to, or you can keep it like this if you want. But I just thought I'd cut it to make it a little even. So as you can see, I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting ever so carefully. And giving it a perfect line, trying my best here. I clean up all my scraps. That's all the scrap paper. We don't need that. We put that to the side. And we go ahead and we start to cut again. Again, ever so carefully. Be very careful when cutting. All the scraps to the side. Now, what we're going to do is glue on our hair. Okay, so I take some glue and right all the way on the top, I line it up very carefully, very carefully. As you see here, I need a little bit more glue to close it up. Just like this. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up now we need a place for his eyebrow this is Frankenstein's eyebrow it's kind of like a unibrow which is all like one eyebrow instead of two so we go ahead and we glue on one ah, yay <laughs> we glue on the eyebrow five seconds and then we take one of our fake arts and craft eyes and we glue right on top Ta -da. take another one like this and we glue it right on top like this. Ta da! Yay! <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm taking the glue again and putting on our last piece here. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. <laughs> and there it is. Frankenstein. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thumbs up. 
Bye bye, Frankenstein. <laughs> now, let's see. What's next? Wow, we have an orange one here. Oh, see, all I did here, kiddos, was I took the um, toilet paper roll and the orange construction paper, and I rolled it up just like I did with Frankenstein with the green paper to get this effect. Right here, I took a black piece of paper and I folded it once. And I folded it twice. I took my scissors. I cut it in half. And I cut it again, like this. So I have one piece like this. I folded it again. <laughs> One more time. I cut it in half. Open it. <laughs> and I cut again. One more time I cut. Now I have one small piece and I fold that small piece again. Just like this. I take my scissors and I'm going to cut a triangle shape. As you see here, I'm going to cut a nice triangle shape. I cut the triangle shape in half, just like this. Ding! <laughs> I take the orange version <laughs> and I glue one of the triangle pieces onto the orange version or orange construction paper just like this next one Put the glue on the back, and then hold it down for a few seconds. <laughs> Ta da! Our Jack o' Lantern's eyes! Wait, we're still not done. I'm going to take. fold the paper again we're going to cut a triangle shape again open it like this cut it in half like this just line it up Perfect. Now take our glue. And we're going to glue on his nose. This is the jack o' lantern's nose. Just like this. Thumbs up. Perfect. So now we have two eyes, a nose. But what is he missing? What is the jack o' lantern missing, kiddos? Do you know? That's right. That's right. He's missing a mouth. So what I'm doing here is I'm drawing a little small mouth pattern. I actually just drew this off of my using my imagination. So you can make your jack-o'-lantern's mouth, eyes, and nose, 
any way you want. Any way you want. But I just thought that, you know, it would look cool like this. So I drew a nice mouth, jack-o'-lantern mouth pattern with the black marker onto the black construction paper. I took my scissors, just like this, and I started to cut very, very slowly and very, very carefully. Watch. is our mouth. This is our jack-o'-lantern's mouth. So I went on to the jack-o'-lantern orange construction paper and I lined up my mouth. See where exactly it would go. I put on some glue and again very carefully I place the mouth onto the jack-o'-lantern. Hold down. Just like this. Hold down. And... Ta-da! <laughs> Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth for our jack-o'-lantern. But again, we're not finished. I went to the scraps and I found that from the Frankenstein paper, I just took a piece of the scrap paper from the Frankenstein paper and I cut out a shape almost like a leaf and I put it on top of the jack-o'-lantern. So I put some glue on the back And I glue the leaf right on top, like this. Now, what am I looking for? Hmm, what do I need? Uh, ah, the brown paper. Oh, I see. So, I, that's right, I fold the, pa the brown paper once. Cut it in half. I fold it again in half. Cut just like this. One more time, I fold it in, in half. I cut just like this. Ta-da! Now, this is the top of the pumpkin. So I made a little shape. If you ever go, if now, if you ever go purchase a pumpkin or you see a pumpkin, you know that usually pumpkins have a um, a stem on top, a really big brown stem, sometimes off-white. It depends on the pumpkin, but here we're going to make ours brown. I took my marker and I drew some lines just for effect, just for effect, just like this. And I put some glue on, like this. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> Frankenstein! And our jack-o'-lantern is finished! <laughs> Kiddos, we're having so much fun. Let's move on, okay? We're gonna make our Dracula or vampire. So we have our toilet paper roll number three. Our red 
construction paper. Mm -hmm. We take that, our scissors, and our black construction. Oh, I said that already. <laughs> okay, so I take the red construction paper. And I'm going to cut a triangle shape. Now remember, I folded the construction paper in half and I drew on top a triangle shape. I cut out the triangle shape, opened it, and I had two, two when I cut it in half to have two uh, tri um, triangle pieces like this. I lined them up just like this on back of the toilet paper roll. I took some glue, just like this, slowly. I rolled the toilet paper roll on top, and I did the same thing with the other triangle shape. Some, put on some glue just like this Ta -da! <laughs> now this is Dracula's cape his cape and on the back on usually on Dracula's cape that's his collar. It's really high, right? His cape is really high. Collar, his collar is very high. Now next, we're gonna make Dracula's fangs. His long fangs. That's his long teeth, right? <laughs> so we draw, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so we take our scissors and we cut out a small shape actually two small triangle shapes with our white construction paper as you can see here ta -da, just like this <laughs> and I took the marker and I drew on his lips I drew the lips this time it was just it was a little easier just to do it this way and that's okay sometimes easier is better ta -da! I take my glue and I glue one fang or one tooth onto Dracula's face. I take the other tooth or the other fang <laughs> and I glue Just like this. So now, our Dracula or our vampire has two teeth, and I just took the black marker and I outlined where I put the teeth or the fangs just so it can be seen better. Just like this. And next, it's very important for our Dracula or our vampire to have some hair, right? He needs hair. So I cut out a little shape just like this. And this is going to be his hair. Watch. Ta -da! It was, it's a little bit just, it's almost just like how we did with Frankenstein's hair, right? Remember Frankenstein's hair? We did the triangles, cut, triangle, cut, triangle, cut, triangle, cut, and pulled off the triangles. 
It was almost the same with uh, our Dracula or our vampire's hair. But our vampire's hair only had one triangle, which we call a willow's peak, right in the middle. Here, I'll show you. Watch. Ta da! Do you see? He has this small triangle in the middle. It's perfect. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's time for our Dracula to have eyes. So we take a pair of our fake arts and craft eyes, just like this, and we glue on the eyes very carefully. <laughs> this is Dracula! He's trying to fly away. Don't fly away, Dracula. Uh, wait. There's one more thing that Dracula needs. That's right, DK. He needs a bow tie. He needs a bow tie. So he, we cut out a shape just like this. Slowly. Carefully. Be careful the scissors. Ding! There's our bow tie, just like this one. Yay! <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> That's right, it's the same. Put on our glue. And we place the bow tie very carefully. Just like this. Ta da! Yay! <laughs> bye bye, Dracula! There is his friend, <laughs> Frankenstein and Dracula. Wow. Two monster friends. Oh, oh, and our jack-o'-lantern. Yay. Three monster friends. Yay. One, we have our jack-o'-lantern, Frankenstein, and Dracula. E -e 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 -e. One more. Okay. Yes. Let's do one more. Let's, yes, this is our mummy. Oh, mummy. So we have our last toilet paper roll. We have our fake arts and craft eyes, marker, scissors, and five tissue paper cuttings so here's how easy the mummy is I took the glue and I glued on to the paper toilet paper roll one eye and I took the other eye just like this and I proceeded to glue the other eye just like this. So now there's the two eyes. I took one of the tissue paper pieces and cut it in half. You'll see why. I crumbled it up a little bit. I glued it just like this. I put some glue on it. And I proceeded to put 
the tissue paper piece right on the top of the mummy's head, just like this. Now each of the pieces that we use here, the tissue paper pieces, I wrinkled up each one. Because remember, mummy is a monster. So we can't make the monster look all pretty and nice. We have to make the monster look <laughs> haunting. <laughs> so I took a piece, my second piece, I glued it, and I put it right on top of the mummy's face, just like this. Here's the other toilet paper piece that I cut in half. Wrinkled it. Glue on the back. And I put it right on to the mummy's face. Now, I took my scissors and I just trimmed up each piece like this. Each piece gets a trim, just like that. <laughs> wow! One more time. Wrinkle it up a little bit. Glue on the back. Trim it up with the scissors. One, ah, one more piece. Okay. Use the scissors, cut it in half. And we place it down just like this. Ta -da! So kiddos, I hope you enjoyed this fun and exciting craft time with TK. We created four amazing monsters. <laughs> four amazing monsters. Well, three monsters and a jack-o'-lantern. I guess jack-o'-lantern could be considered a monster because it's like a pumpkin turned into a monster. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right here we have uh, the mummy or a mummy that looks almost like a ghost. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and here we have Dracula. Woo! <laughs> or a vampire, whatever you like to say. Here we have Frankenstein. <laughs> My favorite. And a jack-o'-lantern, which is really, really cool. I like this one a lot. So try it. I want you to try this, kiddos, at home. Have fun. You know, all you need are these really fun, these just not that many materials at all just materials in your imagination yeah <laughs> so i really hope you try this at home please continue to subscribe to our channel uh we're so super excited i'm very very excited to tell you that very soon very 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 soon is our ants go marching one by one music video here's a picture of uh what we did um it's just us in a nice picture <laughs> on a very beautiful sunny day 
Uh, this is right after the, the video shoot. It was amazing. We had such a great time. Amazing dancers. Um, it was just truly amazing. And we had such a great time out there. Yay! So soon, it's going to come to you. And you can see it right here on Dormy Learning Antics YouTube channel. Uh, what else can I tell you? It's just I'm just so excited about growing the channel and uh, bringing amazing videos your way. And what else? Uh, happy autumn. <laughs> so please, 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 please have a good time with your family and your friends uh, making wonderful, wonderful art projects like this. Okay? I will see you in the next video. Please remember to subscribe. Just subscribe. Subscribe and tell everybody you know about this channel. Okay? And look how cool this is. One more thing. <laughs> this is the Doremi Learning Antics Flyer. This tells you about everything that's going on with Doremi. DLA Amethyst Cheerleading Squad, Doremi Learning Antics Online English Lessons. We have so much things going on. Our, even our, we even have a nice official line that you can join. Uh, we're so excited. And then, of course, right here is the Doremi Learning Antics website. Yay! You can see everything right there. Go visit us. Uh, talk to us. Tell us what you want. Um, we're, we're just super excited about growing and super excited about bringing all kinds of amazing stuff your way. Okay? We love you and we'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye! Before we go, kiddos, I just wanted to mention these amazing pictures that our kiddos have drawn for me. Look at this. <laughs> and look at this one here. Thank you so much for drawing and sending in your pictures to Doremi Learning Antics. And this last picture is amazing. One of our kiddos made a soccer ball and used purple as our favorite color. Yay! And here is our Doremi Learning Antics website.